This is me again. Hua. Not sure if this video is going to make it or not because I got banished by YouTube again for um, what the hell they said? He, hate speech. I made a video about um, a comment that somebody said to me. They called me a Nazi, a redneck, and a honky. And apparently honky is a hate speech um, some sort of hate speech. Now, the reason why I think it's kind of stupid is I informed YouTube that there was about the most retarded thing I've ever heard. And because, I said, well, what about the honky-tonk man? Remember the wrestler from the WWF? The first name of his character is Honky. How come he's not banned? Or how about those songs? The honky-tonk man... The country western tracks. Why are they not? Um, why are they not uh, banned and removed? Apparently, somebody's gunning for me. So anyway, we're gonna do some pictures, and we're gonna put it up on video and see if this video makes it. First one I'm gonna do is about a dog. Right there. See that collie? Let's see if I can zoom in on him. That is my collie. Satan. That dog was born in 1969 and he lived till 1973. No, 74. That's right, 74. Until he was run over uh, when he got out of the yard. I mean, what kind of who a name would you call a dog Satan? It's pretty gun ho, huh? And this people here is uh, Chicago Mike and his girlfriend uh, Betsy. Uh, Betsy killed Chicago Mike back in 1975. She, uh, they got in a big fight. They're biker people, you know, hippies. Uh, got in a big argument about something and she stabbed him in the chest and punctured his heart and killed him. So by the time, uh, by the time the ambulance got there, he was already dead. And she, I think, did, uh, nine years for manslaughter. So I have no idea whatever happened to her. I haven't heard anything about her in... 40 years. So anyway, so there's my dog Satan, Chicago Mike, rest in peace, and Betsy. So there you go. How about another picture? How about a McDonald's in Israel? Check that out. McDonald's written in Hebrew. That's when I was over there in 2008? Yeah, 2008. A Hebrew McDonald's. And by the way, this is not hate speech and this is not racist, so shut the fuck up. Cool. How about a guard dog graveyard in uh, South Control 7 in Egypt when I was, uh, I was stationed in the MFO and this is the dog, uh, guard dog graveyard of all the dogs that served on South Control 7 probably for 10, 15 years. Some of those graves dated back into the mid-90s. And I was there in 2005. Did a six-month rotation at South Control 7, and then I went to OP, what the hell was it, 2-3? Anyway, so there you go. There's Hula, OP-3-2. Uh, how about Caesarea when I was in, again, when I was in Israel? Hula went to the ruined city of Caesarea. That's pretty badass, huh? Check it out. Hula, <clears throat> what is this? Oh, Caesarea again. Right there. Ooh. Pretty cool, huh? It was about 115 out there, by the way. That was pretty cool. And there's the ruins of the palace, Caesarea. Woo! Yeah. What else do I got? Oh, ha! This is a cool one. I managed to sneak a photograph of the Wailing Wall in Israel. I snuck a photograph. You are not supposed to take pictures of it on certain days. I can't remember which day this was, but I know that you could not carry cameras. You had a sign just on top of the stairway here that says, do not take photos. But there it is, dude. Check that out, the Wailing Wall. So I went up to the Wailing Wall itself, and I rubbed, I pricked my finger a little bit of blood and rubbed it on the Wailing Wall. 
just a, I don't know, a symbology. I don't know if it means anything. I'm not Jewish, by the way, but I thought it'd be pretty hua maybe to leave a little DNA on that sucker. It was pretty cool. Uh, oh, my God. How about the inside of the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in Israel? That's when I was a young man. Look at that. 2005, guys. That was, gosh, what, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17 years ago, something like that. When I was a young man, and I was wearing a, uh, what is that, an Israeli paratrooper shirt. Uh, I'm not a paratrooper, by the way. This is inside the Temple of the Holy Sepulchre where Jesus Christ supposedly was crucified and uh, buried and then later moved. Oh! Drop the song, bitch. Yeah, I know. I don't have a shirt on. No one don't want to. I don't want to look at you without your shirt, you nasty bastard. Let's see what else I got. Oh, when I was in Iraq. Check that out. The Humvee. We were stopped because of a vehicle breakdown. And I pulled security while they tried to do something with the vehicle. And there's the Humvee I was in. And look at that. See that long little metal pole thing there? That's a Duke system. That thing helps uh, let us know that there's IEDs nearby through a little box inside the vehicle. Pretty cool. Uh, God, whose flower was this? Oh, this is from Bernie's uh, funeral back in, what is that, 2006? How about a picture of me getting dressed, ready to go down to the armory in the National Guard? This is like 95, 1995, when I still had dark hair. And I think I was making a phone call when my mom snapped this picture. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, my God. How about uh, me and uh, Camp Cedar doing the devil signs of the... the Devil horns with the Mormon blade sticker. I stuck one of our band stickers on that sign moments after I took this. We took this picture. It's pretty cool. Oh, you talk about old school. Oh, check this out. How about me? How about me? Check it out. With my BB gun, with Marcos, Teensy, who were my neighbors at the time, and Bernie. Jeez. October of, what is that, 73? October of 1973. You know, I drive by this house a lot, at least once or twice a week, where we used to live. He's setting up a target for me to shoot my BB gun. That's some ancient shit right there, Hool. And I'll do one more before we say screw it. Uh, our house was a biker house back in 1974, I believe this was. And that is a picture of Bernie Douchebag Debbie. We called her Douche... I, I don't know why they call her Douchebag Debbie. They call her Douchebag Debbie. And Fat Albert. And there is me right there on the right-hand side, just out of picture. This way was over our house in Highland Park. And yes, that is Peter Fonda on his Harley Davidson. Peter Fonda, if you all remember how popular he was because of Easy Rider. Huh? Anyway... I guess that's going to be enough pictures and fun and everything. How about, well, do a couple more real quick. Who is this? Uh, Sergeant Suchecki and forgot what the captain's name was. We were doing the EIB course in 2002. Sergeant Suchecki. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we was at Dugway. And uh, he died in 2008 of uh, cancer. Sergeant Ski. One more picture. This is me with my tattoo sitting inside a 113 and Yakima. And there's Sergeant Camacho in the background on the right-hand side. And Sergeant Charlie Brown. We're playing cards on top of a couple of uh, MRE cases in the back of our 113 during annual training at Yakima. So... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have no idea if this video is going to make it or not. It probably won't because I still think I'm banishment. So I'm going to save this video and then post it. So I'll either see you in a month or two months or whatever. Here we go.